what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The Good Old Boys podcast is currently one of the biggest podcasts in the country, thanks to you. If you have not joined the podcast already, if you have not subscribed, if you have not followed, you can click that link in the description and do so. There's a link right there in the description. Bam, hit that thing and follow the Ghetto Boy. Subscribe also to our YouTube channel. That one link is going to take you wherever you want to go. It's going to take you to the iHeart. It's going to take you to Apple. It's going to take you to Spotify, wherever you want to go. Just click on the link after you click that main link and you'll get there. Fam, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because that's where you get to check out the visuals. Every Monday, make sure, every single Monday, we got a new episode coming out. So make sure that you subscribe and you know click that uh, bell so that you can get your updates, you can get your alerts when the new show comes out. All right, fam? That's what it is going in. So we got this guy named Christopher Lewis out of Miami who went through a drive through and was robbed. Well, that was an attempted robbery. But he got charged. Why? I'll tell you in a moment. Okay, so we got a dude sitting in his car. He's at a drive through Three guys approach him. Two guys come up on him, one, one on each side of the car, and the other fall back. But the one on the driver's side, Christopher get the drop on him, pull out his own gun and bang on that boy. Dropped him dead at the ATM machine. The other guy start firing on him from the, other, from the passenger side. The other two guys start firing. And Christopher get hit a couple times. They run off. And at that moment, Christopher is the victim. But Christopher decides to do something very abnormal. Christopher leaves and come back a few minutes later and shoots the guy that he downed, the suspect. He shot him at least 10 times. This is what the police said. This is what the uh, the warrant says, right? The affidavit, warrant, whatever. Okay. So he had a clear case of self-defense at first. Mind you, fam, the dude was probably already dead because he, he hit him almost point blank. And he was dumping on him, almost point blank. So the dude was down. He came back and started busting at him again. Shot him 10 times while he was on the phone talking to 911 saying he was being fired upon. So he was trying to be slick for no reason. He didn't know that he was being filmed. Now, I covered this story back in, uh, I think it was April, I covered this story. It happened in February, but the story hit in April. So I spoke on it, but there was no surveillance. I didn't have, at least I didn't have access at the surveillance footage. But watching the surveillance footage, it puts everything really in perspective. Like, man, you know it's a dangerous world out here already. And even if you're protecting yourself, you can end up fighting for your freedom. Somebody can decide, well, I wanna sue them. I, you know, I wanna file charges. So you'd be end up fighting for your freedom, trying to fight to hold on to whatever assets you have. So you got to be very, very careful. You got to make sure that you you all the way to the right in these type of situations. So dude was all the way into the uh, all the way to the right, but when he turned around and came back and started dumping on dude again, that did it. Now he has to fight for his freedom. Which really ain't fair. I mean, I think his, I think the defense should be like, hey, man, he was traumatized and he was just, he wasn't thinking straight and he just drove back and, you know, uh, he drove back. He thought he 
dropped his wallet and the guy started moving and he started shooting again and he just freaked out. Anything, something, you know, we got to say something. Uh, I'm not mad that he downed him. I'm not mad he downed him at all because, you know, it's time, man. Like, it's, it's some people out here, man, they think the only way to get paid is to go and take somebody else's stuff. They got that get it fast mentality, like by any means necessary and, and ride on anybody. This little dude that got popped up, I think he was 16 years old. Only 16 years. That's it. And he had been in trouble before on some other stuff. And he had actually entered some type of program, some type of Big Brother program where they was trying to save him. They actually did a, a news uh, story on him. And he spoke about trying to do the right thing and all of that. But it wasn't even, I think, like weeks later. The dude was out trying to commit a robbery. So there's people out there, man, they think in their mind, you got it, I want it, so why can't I just take it? Not you got it, I want it, I'm gonna work for it. You got it, I want it. I ain't gonna work for mine, I wanna take yours. So that's their mentality. And when that's the mentality, they get what they get, uh, yeah, he deserved it. He deserved every last one of those bullets. And the next one go out there, they deserve to. This is why I am a strong advocate for, for, uh, for guns. I'm a gun advocate, man, big time. I think everybody need to be armed because if that dude wasn't armed, there's a good chance that they could have robbed him and killed him. Because some of these fools, they walk up to you and they just start shooting for no reason. Even sometimes when they get the money, they'll shoot you. So I'd rather take my chances defending myself. I'd rather have something on me than just to be a sitting duck. Dude saw them fools coming up there and he was waiting. He was ready. They ran their asses up there and they thought it was all on them. They just, in their minds, we finna go hit a quick lick. We finna get some money. We finna... We finna roll up on this food. We finna get him. I see food. They thought they saw some food, but messed around and got their asses ate. Yeah, it was some food out there, but they were the food. No empathy whatsoever. Dude did exactly what I would do if I had to drop on him. I ain't playing no games. These fools is out here terrorizing people, man. They killing old folks. You know, they don't care. They shooting people in the head. They doing everything, man. People need to defend themselves. Everybody get your gun, get strapped, uh, get some extra clips, uh, get some extra guns. And one of them run up on you, down the ass. Don't even think about it because they're not going to think about it when it comes to your life or your loved one's life. Y'all be careful out there. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?